Jala Town, a poor residential area close to the centre of Monrovia. Marta Yea, the female head of a typical lower middle class family, prepares the only daily meal. The 50 year old woman has to take care of 12 children and 4 adults, living together in a two room shelter. Yeah, I love me. Because when you, you know when you cook food, me not there, you eat, you can really satisfy. When meat in the food you eat, it may you pile low or But now when you there, you can't afford it. You just have to manage something for you and the children to eat. As you watch the diet of individual, you will see that there is always meat present in their in their meal. So it's an indication that Liberians love meat. But where is all the meat coming from? After 15 years of civil war, Liberia's livestock production had to start again from almost nothing. Personally, Liberia does not have the capacity to produce sufficiently enough meat for the supply on the market or the demand of human, for human consumption. And, um, a large number of our, our consignments are imported animal products, both live animal and animal products. On Red Light Market, Monrovia's biggest street market, only deep frozen meat parts are sold. The leftovers of rich countries, chicken feet, pig's legs, intestines arriving from the port. I'm selling importing meat. Some come from India, Brazil, and Holland and America. Live on Ladurum so far is sometimes very difficult to, to sell it. Margaret, a typical street vendor, picks up boxes of frozen meat at the wholesaler shop just to sell it on the same market to her own customers. The quality is an issue. Uh, if you visited the markets, the distribution scheme is an issue. The health issues, of course, are then, then relevant with regards to the types of quality that is brought in uh, in, in harmony with the, the method of distribution. Uh, storage facilities in most of these places are, are less than uh, regular, and so we are concerned. A group of students from the Agricultural Marketing course conducted some empirical research on the meat marketing chain in Liberia. This survey at this level helps us to generate some ideas and some information on what is up, I mean, obtaining in the market. Along the value chain, we're talking to producers, we're talking to uh, uh, processors, we're talking to the smallholders as well as the large uh, uh, enterprises, we're talking to uh, importers, we're talking to policy entities, uh, commerce, uh, so that we generate enough information to begin to reference how we as a nation can make impacts such that we incentivize small farmers or middle level farmers and growers to make a difference in the uh, protein industry, especially in the meat industry. At Monrovia's central rally time market, there is only one seller of live local chicken left. They form a cheap and this is high price, but this is living. And this is most sweetened and dark meat in there. Even years after the Civil War, livestock production has not recovered. 70% of the people in Liberia live from agriculture. Attempts to develop poultry keeping, pig production and cattle holding are crucial, but face strong difficulties. Okay, we are here at the, the Quinde Livestock uh, site here in Tottenham Brook, Bromley County where the community members are involved in the production of pigs. One of the difficulties they, they face is the market problem. Price that the buyers are willing to offer, it becomes so small that the community don't want to accept it because accepting it is definitely going to be a loss. The librarian eat a lot of meat, but the, the influencing factor on the market now is the importation of, of frozen meat on the market that indeed bothers the price of the local meat. 
meat inputted are sold at a lower cost compared to meat that are produced locally. Friction or control on uh, importation of animal, live animal and frozen meat product will be the best way out for domestic uh, markets and uh, smallholder development uh, meeting the demands of our population and uh, also um, giving smallholders uh, the priority in economic gains and livelihood for rural communities. In Bamboo Town, 15 kilometers out of Monrovia, the German NGO Welthungerhilfe supports a group of smallholders in growing livestock. Presently, there are just few animals farmers. A uh, reason is that, you know, to get, you know, like, to start the business, uh, you have to spend a lot of money. And it will take some time before you start, you know, getting income. So most librarians are not patient now to get into that area. People are looking at those who are importing. So when we produce, that is where the government have to come in. There is a demand for locally produced and fresh meat in the country. It's just that only a few people can afford to buy that kind of meat, produced under regular hygienic standards. Every day we have fresh meat. Uh, we, we don't have frozen meat. Our meat is from the cow factory, local meat. And uh, our specialty, we bring our meat in a freezer truck, not in the taxi, not in the motorbike, not in any car. You know, this country is uh, too much poor country. Some people, they chose this meat, the cheap meat, but our own, is fresh and the best and we are professional. High standards, which normal Liberian families do not benefit from. Marta is happy if she can provide a family with any kind of meat. I don't know about the meat, but they bring it on the market, everybody eating and so yourself you see you go buy, you eat. Small small person on the market. But now that one, so now they bring it the whole, the hand feet. When they hang it all the expenses, I can't afford the money, so I don't have interest in it. I'm afraid to eat meat from the market, especially the frozen meat. It has frozen and then thaw and then frozen again. You know, it's not good meat.